Well, how about this one? Isn't that your usual dress, your highness? Just say it looks good on me. They all look great on you. As they always do. Very helpful. I'm sweating through my ass over here, you know. Hey, do you think I smell? I thought princesses didn't smell. Stop smiling, you wisecrack. It's a bit unusual to see you like this, that's all. Is it because of Lord Johan? I just want to look my best when he arrives. We don't know when he'll come to visit us, though, your highness. That's exactly why I need to be ready. It could even take a few weeks. Ugh. Didn't you receive another letter from him just recently, your highness? Yes, but I still haven't finished my reply. Come to think of it, you've been acting somewhat strange ever since. And what if I have? Obviously, it's neither my duty nor place to judge, your highness. But I don't you think it might be you might be advanced a tad hastily? Excuse me. Don't you think you might be advancing a tad hastily? I see. Would you prefer if I'd broken a few ribs first? You know what I mean, your highness. You worry too much, Gray. Perhaps. But we're approaching uncharted territories, and I'd rather be safe than sorry. What's that supposed to mean? Love, your highness. Sh shut it, you old hag! Your highness, it's your, it's your Lord Johan. He has arrived unannounced. He's waiting downstairs. Oh, oh, she just burst out of the room. Didn't want to fix up her dress or anything. All right, let's head down. Is this guy feeling better? I'm so glad to see your highness is in such high spirits. Thanks to Lord Johan. My, my back is glad as well. What does this guy say? The Knight of Heavens has arrived. I wonder if he's as handsome as they say. Maybe I'll get a chance to see him today. Once I get off duty, of course. Lady Grey! Her Highness and Lord Johan seem to be in the middle of something. So I decided not to butt in. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Alright, thank you. Oh, here we go. Ah, Lady Grey, pleasure to see you. Likewise, Lord Johan. It has been a while. Forgive us for arriving unannounced. Don't mention it. <laughs> Someone doesn't seem to mind at all. Johan and I have an important announcement to make. No way. Really? Just like that? I guess we don't know how much time has passed between this, but certainly from what Lady Grey said, it sounds like it was just the one meeting, right? Like, the princess and Lady Grey went over there, met Lord Johan, stayed who knows how long. Probably a while. Usually the, you know, in older day stuff, they would uh, spend a, a while visiting, a few weeks. But, um, yeah, to get engaged right, at, right away after that? I guess that was also a thing of the times. Um... What can we do here? So there's a couple of oxes guarding the way. I guess I can just run right through, right? I want to check out that mural, though, because it looks like it's got a crack in it. I think it always looked like that, but I'm not absolutely sure. So, what can we do? Well, I guess this is the way to go. Let's do that. Um, if I go down here. Oh, I see. Oh, we can make them stay over that way. And then block them off. Easy. The mural is badly damaged. What is that behind it? Deciphering its inscription seems almost impossible. So, okay, all right. We'll figure that out some other time, I guess. Hmm. Now, the statue is gone. There used to be a statue over here. I'm just going to push the boulder down into the pit. Clearly, there's stuff I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, okay. Hello there. A giant head lies before you, blocking your path. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I walk. Oh, I'm waking it up. They can hardly muster an irritated groan. All right, let's go talk to one of these people. A scrawny man stands before you. Smell. 
food. Give. It seems he's looking for food. Maybe you should give him something? Uh, I did give a bunch of my locust idols to another one. When I say a bunch, probably like four or five of them. I don't really want to give this guy some. I could push him into the pit. I think that's probably what I'm going to do here. Let's just push him. Sorry, bud. Because the last one we gave him a bunch of locust idols and he just kept asking for more. Scrawny man stands before you. Smell, food, give, and he wants some idols. Uh, let me just grab a tile here for no particular reason. And Oh, shoot, I stepped one too many. My bad. Sorry. Oh, actually, this doesn't do anything, does it? Uh-oh. Have I messed up? They can hardly muster an irritated groan. Okay, and I can't get past the hair. Alright, so I have to figure something out with those guys. I, I guess, let's restart the level here. Oh, the guys are no longer here. I have messed up, apparently. Ooh, okay. Well, let's see what we can do with this statue, then. I guess that's our only thing we can interact with. Okay, if I walk into it, the eye opens. Hmm. I can't do anything with the statue as far as I can tell. Am I just stuck? muster an irritated groan. Okay. So there's a boulder up there by the staircase. I don't think that's relevant here. Can I remove the tiles from... No, I can't. Oh, my bad. <laughs> that was an accident. I was thinking, like, remove the tiles from in front of the head. Do I need to, like, dig out the area around it? But I can't even put enough tiles down to remove that many tiles. Hmm. Like, I'm, you know, I don't know if that made sense. Uh, you know, there's a kid's game, Don't Break the Ice, or Break the Ice, and you would, like, have these little ice blocks and uh, tiny little hammers, and you would hammer away at those ice blocks. Uh, it was like a, a Jenga game, basically. So you had to remove ice blocks without making the, what was it, like a, a penguin or a guy in the middle or something like that? You didn't want him to fall with all the ice blocks? Well, I'm trying to do the opposite here. I'm wondering if I can actually make this thing fall by removing enough ice blocks, but uh, I don't think that is an option. Hmm. This is a little bit confounding. What to do? I think I really screwed up by pushing those guys into the pit. I must have had to do something with them. Maybe I should have given one locust to him and seen what happens. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to try something. Can we... Uh, end... Oh, what's that? End it all? Go back. Oh, memories? Oh, look at that. Okay, so these are the memories we visited, I guess. Alright, nice. Uh, I'm going to try a quick game. And we're going to come right back. Let me just start it up here. And I want to see if we go back to where we were at the, with the tree. My thinking is... Sorry, this is taking a little bit for me to start it up. Oh no, we're back here, but the, the locust guys are here. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's talk to them. He asks for food, give. We'll give him something. You hand over one of your locust idols. The man grabs it without any hes hesitation, gulping it down in an instant. Taste nothing more. Give more. I will, I will give more. Yeah, we'll give more. Okay. We get the exact same reply, which makes me think that there's no there's no change, right? Well, we're just going to do this and um, see what happens. We'll just give them all of our locust idols. I don't have another use for them so far. I, I this feels futile and like a bad idea, but I'm gonna try it anyways. 
Oh man, this is going to take a long time. Well... Okay, this is a bad idea. A giant head lies before you, blocking your path. Wait, did he just move? The man has collapsed. He's hardly breathing. There's very little you can do to help him. Better keep moving. What? Okay. We walk into it now? Eh. What do you want? Okay, so... Somehow that got the head talking. Okay. You tell them they need to move. Really? That's why you disturb me? I was doing so well with being dead. How bothersome. I don't really know what you're looking for, but maybe you can tell I'm not exactly going to move anytime soon. Let me die. You ask them if they know another way down. Eh? Didn't you listen to anything of what I just said? Fine. If it means I can keep dying in peace, there should be a smirking statue in here somewhere. If you leap into a hole directly in front of it, you should be able to advance deeper. Whoa. Almost forgot. This trick requires a sacrifice. Nothing major. As long as you've got some food with you, you should be good to go. Okay, so this guy just turned into a rock. That's nice to know. You think that sounds awfully shady? Do as you please, as long as you stop bothering me with your problems. What is it now? Those lost souls are clogging up your path. I knew I shouldn't have given them anything. They kept begging and begging for food until I gave in, and now they stick around, craving for more. They are the worst kind, if you ask me. Don't give them me that look. I can't do anything about them. Hey, do us both a favor, and give them a good shove. I'm sure you've gotten used to it by now. Since you've made it this far without losing your marbles. Go ahead. No hard feelings. Lost souls are here for a reason. They're but fuel for D.I.S. Okay, nothing else? They can hardly muster an irritating drum. Okay. So, I'm not sure what D.I.S. is. But, oh, it's just open its eye. That staff you wield, where did you get it? I guess it's not important. It's called the Void Rod. It was a prized possession of Lord Ad. She sort of ran this place for a while. Maybe, all right, stranger, I've got a request. Will you hear it? Heck yeah, I'll hear it. You decide to hear out their request. Lord Ad is the one I can thank for my current predicament. Long ago, they and the other lords had a big fight. I didn't want anything to do with it, but was pulled in regardless. As a punishment, Ad cut off my body. So when I heard that they had left this realm, I felt hopeless. For only they could grant me my eternal rest. Some rumors said Ad hid their treasures within these walls before they left, but I couldn't bring myself to believe it. Until you showed up. I want you to find Ad's sword, the Void Blade. Only that can kill me. If I had to guess, you probably won't find it just lying about. Ad most likely hid it in one of the secret passageways. Mere mortals can't normally access them. That's why that's where the void rod comes in. You should be able to enter the hidden roots with a special incantation. Make sure to remember it. Where nothingness engraves the brand of Lord, where the path to damnation rests within you. Place your faith and embrace the void. I'm not gonna remember that. Once you find the void blade, make sure to return here. Then I can finally have my rest. You tell them you tell them you've got no idea how to use the incanta incantation. Yeah? What do you mean you've got no idea? You can use the void rod, can't you? I got my hopes up. For nothing? Whatever. Should have known better. Get lost. I'm in a bad mood now. They refuse to speak to you anymore. Where nothingness engraves the brand of Lord where the path to damnation rests within you. Place your faith and embrace the void. What did they mean by that? Hmm. They refuse to speak to you anymore. Okay, hold on. So where nothing's... Okay. 
I think um, we're nothing this engraves. I don't know if this is something I need to figure out right now or if this is something that will become relevant later. Where nothingness engraves the brand of Lord. Yeah, I have no idea what that means. Where the path to damnation rests within you, place your faith and embrace the void. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what that means. So let's give this statue a sacrifice. There goes a guy. And now if I step in, it should just bring me to the next level, right? Ah. Ah, there you go. The statue's happy. You brought me here. What? Oh, watch out for this thing. Oh, shoot. This thing is smart. It's going to keep chasing me? Oh, no. Alright. So if I do that, I need to trap it. Oh, of course, I didn't grab a tile with me. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, so actually better yet. No, I need to run. Run up here. Uh, I need a tile. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, try again, try again. <laughs> this isn't that difficult, but I, I'm not playing very well. So we need to go up one. I'm gonna place a tile just to give myself a few more tiles to run because I need to go here, grab this one instead. And then, oh no, we're still not gonna make it. I need to trap it on this loop, I think. Am I able to actually just run around? No, I can't actually get away in time, can I? If I step back, it's now caught up to me, and that's game. Unless I can make use of this, but I can't because it's just going to turn around. I can get through here. Take this tile. Um. <laughs> Alright, we ran out of time. Okay, this is a tough one. Wow. All right. I need it to follow me. Hmm. Okay. Let's try this again. Same idea. Place, walk across, that breaks. And then I need this thing to run as far towards me as it can. Oh no, I may have messed up again. If I do that... Alright, let's get it going back this way. Now it's confused. We do this one. I want it to follow me... up to there. But no matter how I place this, it is going to get around. Alright, now it's following me on this track, right? Oh, but I'm one tile off again. Yeah, 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 I messed up again. Wow, the timing is super tight. All right, we get across this. It is going to follow us. I guess it doesn't... Does it matter? I grab this and go across. No, we're two tiles away again. So that was kind of as fast as I could do it. What did I miss here? Hmm. Hold on. Could it be a simple... Oh. Nope, nope. It moves immediately. Okay. For a moment there, I was thinking, oh, I just grabbed the tile in front of it. Nope, that doesn't quite work. I need to get it to walk across the glass, maybe. I, I, I can't. We just tested that theory. Hmm. I definitely have to walk upwards. It's going to run around. Hmm. 
unless, hold on, is it, if I get across and I take this, it pauses. Doesn't really help though. Unless I do this. There we go, that gives us time. And I messed up. <laughs> I messed up immediately. I messed up immediately. Hold on. I just needed to remove that path down there. This is actually easy. No problem. We're good. So I take that out. I put it over here. And I go up this way. I take that out. I put this down. Take that. And now he has no path to me. I get across. Alright. No problem. Okay. All that stuff on the left side was a bit of a red herring. Um... Now he's standing on the path. That's going to make it challenging. If I were to go here, I could open up the path down. I don't want to though, right? Hmm. One, two, three. Go across. Oh, but there's no way for me to get back, is there? One, two... Th yeah, that's not going to work at all. I need... Okay, here's a thought. Here's a thought. If I go across here... And we make ourselves a bit of a bridge... Yeah, what I do is now he's going to chase me this way. And every time I place it, he moves one tile. So we get him all the way there. Then we take it. We put it back. And if I place it, he'll move one tile. I think I can make it before he does. Uh, maybe not. Wait. I place a tile, he moves down one. He needs to move four spaces to get on there. I need to move one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's not going to work. So I do need him to chase me. Mm. Oh, hold on. Not that tile. Oh. Do I even have a tile I can use here? Oh. Silly me. Of course I can make it. I just had to go down that one instead of the left one. Oh, no. All right, we're good. We have that guy. Can I crush him with the boulder? Testing. Yes, we can. Learning. Of course, now I've gone and messed things up for myself, so let's restart. We don't want him to follow us. But we also need him to push that button. Can I take the button and move it somewhere more useful? Get him to stand on it for us. First, let's grab that chest. Oh, I can't. Grabbing the chest requires moving the boulder, or at least breaking the ice, and I don't want to break the ice yet. Here's another thing. I could... I could get him onto that button without a way to hit me, but to get over there, I need to break the ice first, and then to get back, I wouldn't have any ice to break. Unless I was carrying this one. I take this, put it here. I need a way to grab that ice, I can't. Oh, I can grab the ice up there. What am I saying? So, okay. Here's my thinking, and we'll see if it works. I think it will. I think it will. Oh, hold on. No, I still can't get to the chest if I do that, though. Um, Let's get to the chest first. Open it up. Get a... Oh, I'm down to one locust? What? What happened there? There's a statue eat them all when we... When, I didn't even notice. Have I just been running around with one locust since we went down the hole? Uh, that the statue let us go down? I guess, probably. Okay, well, either way, I think we've got this sorted out. I grab this ice, 
go over here, I push this thing, it chases. I do not have this figured out. I grabbed the wrong ice. Let me do that again. I can do it. I swear. Let's take this block, go across, grab the chest. Again, I don't think it matters, but I want to do it just in case. We go... Oh, we're not going to have time, though. This does not work, does it? In fact, I wonder if I should have taken the ice before. Or not broken the ice before. We'll take this ice and put it over here. One, two. I need to get quite a head start on him. Yeah, I don't see a good way to do this, actually. Like, what I'm thinking is, if I move the boulder onto the ice, that doesn't help. Yeah. Yeah, why did I put ice here? That doesn't help. So, we'll take the ice back. I need to lead him on a little ring around the rosy, and then get him to not be able to follow me again. So, placing multiple ice would help. If I do this... Hold on. Let's put this one back. We'll take a regular old tile and put it here. If I do that and push the boulder, then it's immediately able to chase me. And then I'm in trouble. Let's not do that. Put it back here. I need this ice. This is challenging. Wow. Hold on. This is not challenging. I take it back. This is incredibly easy. I've not been thinking with void rods. Here we go. Put the button there. And take whatever tile. Put it there. Take another tile, put it there, we push the rock, and then we run. We got out. Easy. Alright, how do I get here? Oh, oh, he's running around. I see. Okay, so we're going to wait until he's basically all the way over here. Take that out. Put it here. Take that out. He can't get to us. We can open the chest. And then we go here, place the tile, and step down the staircase. Good. Oh, are these... These are different statues again. What's up with them? That was a mistake. Oh. Oh, I see. Is this like a limited number? Hold on, what's going to happen when they're all full? Bad. Ooh, I got zapped by lightning. Okay, okay. Ooh, okay. Gotta be careful then. I can take... Okay, we'll take one. I have a feeling we're gonna run out of time on this one because of that mechanic. But we'll give it a try anyways. I don't need this tile. Grab that. Alright. Wait. Okay. It's just every time I use the rod, right? So, this is actually going to be perfectly fine. Open that. I was thinking it was movements too, but that's not true. We're good. Interesting though. Limited number of void rod uses. So is this just we can only use it twice in this room? I'm guessing something bad happens if I step on this. Let's try it though. Oh. Oh, alright. So, it's like ice, but not actually so it's one time step on it open the chest and then we're okay right hmm this thing's going to chase us immediately if i step on this does it get destroyed yeah all right all right now i do need to move this out of the way 
Oh! Oh no! That was an accident. <laughs> I, I didn't even realize that was the staircase. Okay. If I go over here... Ooh, there's two of them though. We'll grab this one. Okay. And... Uh... Hold on here. I I need to grab a different tile, but as soon as I place that. Okay. Alright. We're good, I think. Because now I can get up here. And I can get across in a way that lets me place a tile for him. Oh. Um. Hold on. I can't actually get over there. Place a tile like that. Does that help? It does not quite help. Oh yeah, of course it helps. Put it out of the way. Put another one down. Put it there. And then put it down. Oh, jeez, that scared me. <laughs> the noise, the noise there made me jump. Okay, we're good. There is a boulder I see down here. Is that sitting on something? Let's check it out. Push. Nope, that's just a regular top. We're good. Okay. So run across the ice and he will follow. Or not across the ice, but this thing here. But I actually need him to chase me onto the button, right? Uh-oh. I've already messed up. I already messed up. Yeah, you got me. Um. Oh no, I can't push. Okay. I need to go. How does this work? Hang on. Because every time I push, it slows me down. Yeah. You guess me. Okay, I can't do that. I can't have him run across this thing because it will destroy him. Hmm. I need to run downwards. That's what it is. Alright. We go like this, and then I run either down or up. Which one would be better here? If I run up... Hmm. He's still going to get destroyed, though. Hmm. We'll try it. So that gets broken. We steal that. He can't move. But also, neither can I. <laughs> uh, that's bad. Oh. What am I saying? Of course I can move. I can do this. Now I have all the time in the world, right? So just push it. We're good. There we go. The statue can move. I need to not use my void rod here. Because that's that statue that kills us if we use it too many times. Here we can only use three void rods. And we have a bad guy that will be chasing us. I only need to use it twice though, right? This is easy. In fact, I'm just going to wait around here. Give myself as much time as possible. Probably could have done that in a better way. It, I didn't. I didn't even need the extra time because he freezes when he doesn't have a path. Of course, I can only use four rods, or I can only actually use three void rods. Because if we use a fourth time, then it fills up all four statues and we die. I'd rather avoid that. Oh, there's four, and we die. Hmm. I push it off the edge, then I'm dead. Oh, this is interesting. Is there a way to reset it? No. Hmm. Now, let's do a test here. There's only three of them. Does he kill us on third? Yeah, it does. Okay. As, as I expected, but it's always good to check. Just in case. Hmm. Hmm. 
Can I hit the statue itself? No. I was thinking, like, maybe if I hit the statue, that resets it. Nope. So, how do I place... I need to pick up twice and place twice, but I can't do that using four movements, or four rod swings. What do I do? I do notice that there's a bit of a ledge on the left here. So if I push this one statue off and then I push another statue off, I can put one tile down. Oh. No, no, that doesn't help though. Because I can't walk diagonally, of course. And I can't place to the right of me once I'm down there. I was just thinking because I... If I use this one... No, it's the one at the top that reacts. Hmm. So that one I can push off the edge. Oh no, then it lights up another one? Really? Oh, that doesn't feel fair. Alright, alright. So it really is just a global limit of only this many swings. Okay. I was thinking that I could do it and then push them off and that it wouldn't... It would, you know, it would remove the statue that was already glowing, so it wouldn't really matter. But it does matter. There's a mechanic here that I'm not aware of, apparently. Oh! Oh, 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 um, I'm so silly. But what if there were none? Ahaha! Ah, Ahaha! Ha, ha. Got it. Alright, we're good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, alright, getting rid of this guy would be easy. I do see there's a statue there that says, you know, those that guy says he requires a sacrifice. So we could do it. If I'd go over here, he disappears. I grab one tile. I place one tile. I do one sacrifice. And I step into the void and I'm okay. Yeah. All right. Now... He's blocking the path, right? So we have the one statue over there blocking the staircase. It's also blocking the whatever that thing is. I can only use two void rod thing, or one void rod thing, really. Removing one tile. How does that help me? How do I get to that chest? I would have to use two to get to the chest. I can't see myself. Oh, I can actually. No, I can't. How would that work? Hmm. I'm I'm thinking No, there's no way I can place a tile down though. Because picking up the tile is going to be one. Also, I lost my locusts again. So whenever I use that statue thing, I guess it does remove all of my locusts. That's too bad. Um Hmm. If I run over there and push that, the bad guy chases me immediately, and I can't return onto the tiles I've already been on because that will kill me. I'm very curious about how we're supposed to get to that chest. I can't push that statue down. Oh, what I can do is push it into a pit. Does that help me? I think it does. Okay, 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 I see it. I can only remove one tile. I choose this tile here. All right, we go across like that. Ooh, I might be in trouble. No, I think I'm okay. So we do that. I forgot to push the other one in. Oh, no, that's not going to work at all. I can't push the other one in because then as soon as I use the top, this thing once, that guy gets me. I need to get rid of both of these guys without using a void rod? I don't see it. Hmm. 
Okay. Here, let's do a test. Do this. Push this on. It gets destroyed. Okay. That makes sense. I can't see how I return to that spot. Oh. So, looking, I kind of wish I could... Wait, can I indicate with my mouse? No. My mouse has no no, no clicker. No pointer here. If I go up... There's no other way around, right? Because what I'm thinking is I go here, I, I do that one, and then I go around to the right side of the statue, push it onto there, it falls, and I can lead the, the bad guy over onto another one and be perfectly fine. But as soon as I step back here, I'm going to get hit, or I'm going to fall. Right? It's interesting that they all trigger and fall at the same time. I wonder what significance that has. Probably something sneaky we can do with that. Uh, no, because I still need to trigger. Yes, oh, okay, I see it. That's good to know. There we go. So I need to go around like this to trigger them all to fall. I'm going to move this guy out of the way. Go like that. He triggers that square that he's currently on. I go across here and I step on this and they all fall. And then we push them off. Okay. That's really cool. I like that quite a lot. I This game is so good at teaching the new mechanics. It's awesome. It gives you only one way to get through. You gotta learn the mechanic. I... Okay. If I take this tile then he can chase me and that's fine he's gonna pick one path to chase me all I have to do is let him fall if I go up and then down then we have our bridge good enough it's kind of funny that it sprinkles these those easier levels in at the same time like here you have a real humdinger and then you get through it and then you have an easy level like that but it's good I guess you call that a bit of a break. If I... I mean, I see the statue here. The smiling statue. So we probably want to use him. Oh, I, I think I see the solution already. He moves one, two... Oh, I can't get there in time, though. Mm, he's going to do it on his own, isn't he? One, two... Yeah. We go here. The trick. Ooh. Can't. Because he's going to... F They're going to fall over there, which means that he didn't see a sacrifice, right? If I step down, it's not going to be enough. So I just fell, fell. Oh, no, he did help us. Oh, oh, okay. Oh! the sacrifice he just needs to have locusts that's the sacrifice i was thinking we had to push something down in front of the statue okay that makes so much more sense all right um which is gonna be well i guess the, yeah there, we don't always have locusts on the levels hmm interesting now this guy we need to get the other statue to be on that button or I can grab the button. I have a limit of three void staff uses. I think grabbing the button is probably the right solution. Is there any reason not to push him though? Maybe not. If I go around. Yeah, this actually looks really easy. Oh. I see the problem. Um, the problem is I'm dead. Yeah. Okay. If I had left the top path open, that wouldn't have helped either. So let's step down. Oh, also those guys, I see, I see. Those guys are also on the path, so by me moving around that way, I actually destroyed one of them, at least. 
Not, not that I should need to use my void staff on this one. Although I might. If I go down first, that's not going to work either. Hmm. So the path that I went is definitely how I have to go around. But we have to push that statue off the edge, I think. Using our void staff twice. Unfortunately, if we do go over the same tiles, then we're going to be killing two of these statues and then we die. All right. Let's follow through. I'm not going to think too hard about it. Push him down. Grab the button. I need to push one of these guys onto a button somehow. I don't see how we do that, actually. Oh, no. And also, if I push that top one. Or the middle one, I mean. The one that's on the staircase. I push it upwards, then it kills three of those statues. And I've just used my void staff, so then I die. Hmm. All right, then. Can I... I don't really see the solution. Hmm. Yeah, I, I just die here. So let's do that, for example. All right, I got zapped. Is there a tile I can grab that would be useful? I don't think so. I go downwards. Yeah, if I go downwards, then no matter what, I'm kind of blocking my own path. If I go around that loop, I can't get back. Oh, hold on. I might see it here. Oh no, but, but I still can't get back. Hmm. It's almost clear. It's, it's very, it's like, it's almost something I can do. Uh, what I'm looking at, and I, again, I wish I could indicate with the mouse, but what I'm looking at is I do that loop around, I pick up one of these tiles, I push the statue. Here, I'll show it for example, but it's not going to work as far as I can tell. And now I've got to think through again. Am I understanding this? Oh, hold on. Actually, one of the statues does not fall, but we will have used our thing twice, so losing two statues is still deadly. Yeah. Still deadly. But here's what I'm thinking. So I grab that, I go down, I push them across, and then I go up here, place this, and go across, but then, yeah. We've used our staff twice, two of them remain, we do we lose. Oh, unless I push him first. Is that an option? Oh. Oh, I see it. I see it. All right. Good job, game. Good job. That was good. All righty. It's simpler than it looks. I need to destroy both of these guys. How do we destroy the glove guy? The snake is just going to die to that glyph on the ground. No problem. I don't know how to get rid of this glove. Okay. So he hits him, turns around, gets destroyed. I think it's probably a timing thing that we need to do something with the glove before the snake gets killed. 
Like I could even go over here and stop the snake from dying to the pit. But I don't know why I would want to do that. I don't have any way to interact with this glove that I know of. I want to get up there. Hmm. Oh, hold on. These are... Oh. I need to make a line of... Okay, I see it. I see it. Sorry. I was thinking those statues up there were the ones where you have to destroy the enemies. But no, it's... Of course, it's the ones... The statues that we've been dealing with the whole time. I have a limited number of uses. Alright. Bye bye. They're gone. And then we can get up here and build a path. Locust for me. Good, 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 good. All right, we're filled up on locusts. Um, we're probably gonna need to use them for a statue at some point. Oh, but we got a tree here first. A lone birch tree stands in the void. This area feels safe. And since you've been traveling for quite some time already, would you like to rest for now? Yes, I think this is a good time for a rest. Slowly, surely, dreams embrace you. <laughs>